Good morning. Sailing slowly through the Eastern Mediterranean towards North Africa and the Middle East. It's nice and warm out here. We're going to go down to the main dining room for breakfast this morning. First one of this cruise, so really looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing what options we've got down there. This is a nice setting for breakfast, isn't it? How's your little pastry? So they no. So they immediately came around with the the drinks and the pastries, and you've got a selection of tea, a little box for the selection of teas, which is quite nice, wasn't it? We've got some toast and some condiments there, jam, marmalade, and oh, a couple of couple of types of jam and marmalade. It's lovely. Coffee, it's nice. Yeah, it's a lovely setting in here. Not sure what my breakfast is going to look like. Ordered a few options off the menu, one of which was a, a Greek savoury pie, which apparently isn't massive, it's just quite small. So I've got some other bits and pieces with it. Should be quite nice, whatever it ends up looking like. What do you think of my Cunard gilet in our Cunard vlogs? I came out of the shop having made a purchase, I had it in a little paper bag. Well, this is what the purchase was, my Cunard Gilet. It's nice, actually. I like it. Yours looks really good there, actually. Really big bowl of fruit uh, with Greek yogurt, honey and walnuts. That looks freaking amazing, doesn't it? It's cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy pastry goodness. It's nice. Um, it's almost like a cheesy, eggy type filling with the pastry. It's really nice, actually. Different. So we've got a very Mediterranean looking sausage and bacon there with some sauteed vegetables after my, my Greek breakfast pie. Greek breakfast pie was nice, but it was just a little bit, um, bit of a pastry overload. Actually really nice different than a breakfast I would normally choose. I'm certainly not going to get black pudding, but then I expected it to be different, to be fair. It's not like I was expecting a breakfast that I would get on Cunard or Morella, but it was very, very nice. It's now 20 past nine. We're down on the promenade deck. It's really peaceful out here. There's no one around, just us. And the guy over there doing a bit of cleaning, cleaning the windows. It's lovely and warm. Lovely and sunny. It's going to be a very nice relaxing walk around the promenade this morning, so let's go and have a little little nose around, see if there's anyone else around. I don't know where everyone is on the <laughs> ship, honestly. <laughs> it's a complete wrap around uh, promenade deck, so you can walk all the way around easily and it's nice and wide. This is uh, all the way forward so you can't see over the bow. So we come into the theatre, we're going to watch a 
port talk on Egypt, which is where we are tomorrow, which we're really excited about. So yeah, we'll learn a bit about where we're going to be. Should be pretty interesting. About 2,300,000 blocks of stones were used for building the Great Pyramid. The average weight of each one of them, each block there, is 2.5 tons each. If you manage to cut or to divide the stones of the Great Pyramid into smaller cubes, like one foot long each, and put these cubes next to each other, you know how far they can go? They can cover one third the equator of the earth. When the Greek historians counted the wonders of the world, the whole entire body of the Sphinx, the 260 feet long, were covered by sand. No one could tell at that time that the head is attached to this huge body. The head was never covered by sand, only the body. But no one could predict, could tell that the head is attached to that huge statue. And our son's name is Tutankhamun. So Tutankhamun, father, is a king, King Akhenaten, the son of King Akhenaten. But his mother is not a queen. She's just a secondary wife. Got that? Are you following? Yes? This was a big family. We were living happily all together until one day, my mother, Queen T, came all the way to visit me. Hi, mom. How are you? I'm son. Long time to see you. It's to see you too. Since I left Luxor and came away, far away to Akitatin, you never came all that way to come and see me. And today you're here. It must be something big which made you come all that travel. I don't know what. <laughs> Mother, you always pretend like you don't know, but you know everything. I know that. So we've just come up to the central pool area where the retractable roof is. Retractable roof is open. We've ordered a couple of drinks. They've got a really extensive bar menu up here. Alcoholic and non-alcoholic cocktails that sound really, really nice. The bar's just there. Yeah, it'd be nice sitting here and have a little drink. So drinks have arrived. Kirsty's got a ginger beet. I've got a matcha iced tea. Non-alcoholic drinks at the moment. Any good? Yeah, that's really gingery. That's delicious. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a really strong sweet tea flavour. I'm not a tea drinker, but it's like a minty tea. It's nice. Because we're really gadget boys. You see? Do you see it? My reflection? Yeah. Yeah? I'll, I'll touch your glasses like this, and I'll try to flip them. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, there it goes, sir. Don't make me this one disappear. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank very you very much. much. Thank you. Don't forget me again. My name is Jackie, Chucky, all right? Chucky. Yeah. <laughs> Poof, your camera's gone. <laughs> that was brilliant. So our server, the drink server over there, he's also a magician. <laughs> that was a good little trick with my sunglasses there, wasn't it? We've come in just inside from where we were. That central pool area is the buffet. I've just come in for a little snack little light bit of snackage um, I've gone for a fish roulade some grilled turkey and salad like potato salad rice and feta cheese what did you go for I picked up the fish as well because that looked good salady bits and I think that's like a mushroom carbonara type pasta it's a really nice buffet not too rammed food options are really good I like, a, I like a bit of casual dinning. Can't beat a bit of casual dinning. <laughs> a chocolatey, moussey one. And that was an orange cake. It was in a square, the same as that, but it's so sticky and delicious. It's just all kind of like stuck to the tongs. And I'm kind of having to like scrape it off and get it off the tongs and it, so it ended up like that. But, uh, I bet it tastes very, very sticky and orangey. Mm. I'm guessing you're not going to go for the cake op option today, the dessert no, option. I'm being good. I'm saving myself for later. 
I think we're going to go and get a hot drink and go and sit outside in the sun again, shall we? Yeah, definitely. It is nice to do a sea day. Nice relaxing day, just mooching around the ship, having some nice food, just chilling out. This is the only sea day on this cruise. We were talking to someone from Celestial on our excursion yesterday. He's like a business development person from the States who's on board this week. And uh, he was saying that the uh, cruise line Celestial don't really like to do sea days. They don't tend to, to choose to do sea days, but obviously sometimes you have to do a sea day to cover the distance. But normally it's a port every day. Very port intensive cruise line, which is great for us. We love visiting places. So I can see we'll end up doing this again. Brilliant, thank you. I think I'm going to have the beef chimichanga with the soft tortillas uh, to start, and I might have the lamb actually for a main course. What about you? I might have that as well because that sounds good, the beef chimichanga. Is that alright? Love this red wine, it's delicious. 
There's a few more people in the restaurant tonight. I think everyone's going to make sure they eat nice and early and then get themselves to bed because everyone's up super early in the morning for our Egypt excursions. Everyone's meeting up at about 6 a.m., including us. So we'll have dinner, have a nice relaxed dinner, a bit of wine, and then we'll go and get ourselves sorted. And I think that's probably what everyone's going to be doing. Nice big load of bread again. I love these bread rolls. These tables actually are really nice size. There's plenty of room. I always know when the table is slightly larger than normal because I've got room for my camera as well. Normally I'm struggling to find some, a spot for, for the camera to put the camera down. And then I put it in my lap and it ends up falling on the floor. Oh, delicious. The sommelier just come round and emptied what was left in the bottle <laughs> into my glass. Um, so I've got another nice big red wine there. It is utterly, utterly delicious though, that red wine. The wines are actually really nice. I don't know whether it's like a Greek wine. Stuffed pork with potato rosti. But look at the size of that potato rosti. I was, I was expecting one of the, I don't know, I was expecting something small on the side. That is delicious. I love that sauce. Trouble is I can taste the pepper that is put on the top as well. But that is so tasty. That is a really well cooked piece of lamb. Nice minty flavour. And yeah, it's on like a bed of potatoes. My red wine pairs very nicely with my nice lamb dish. So he came round and topped my wine up again. I wasn't going to have any more, but then he came round and said, yes or yes. <laughs> so I said yes. Well, I had to limit the amount he put in there because he would have just topped it up to the top again. This is going to be my last drink for tonight as we're going to be getting up about 4.30 in the morning. Looking forward to this rum bar, by the way. Well, that was a really lovely meal. Another really lovely meal. Loads of wine. More wine than I really should be drinking, considering we've got to get up at about 4.30 in the morning. I know food is lovely, settings lovely, service is amazing. There's no waiting around at all for anything. It's, uh, it's all perfect. So, yeah, really impressed. Really nice really nice dinner again so like we said earlier Egypt tomorrow and it's a trip we've been looking forward to for quite some time so it's going to be a bit of an epic day yeah you're taking me to see some old pyramids some old pyramid, pyramid yeah. almost as old as you <laughs> not quite <laughs> now it's been a nice relaxing sea day today and we needed it before our epic trip out tomorrow so we're going to go back to the cabin get ourselves organized and get out nice and early so we'll see you down at the coach probably in the morning i'm not sure i'm going to be in it in any fit state to start filming at breakfast because it's going to be a quick grab and go <laughs> and then out to the uh, out to the buses yeah i think so, we've got to be up at sort of four ish yeah so we'll see you bright and early